good? It's your girl, Neek. Welcome to my channel, Army Entrepreneur. If you're new to my channel, I want you to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn on your notification bell so I can pop up like, what's up? What's good? Every time I come through, like, what's up? Where you been at? What you been on? What you been doing? Hey, where you been at? I've been in the crib too. So, on my channel today, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on my face. Um, I never pay to get my makeup done. I always do it myself. Let me say this though. I am self-taught. I am not a licensed makeup artist. I am self-taught. Let me say that again. I am self-taught. So I'm going to do stuff that's wrong, that you don't like, and you can critique me. That's cool. Because I'm not what? What did I say? I'm not a licensed makeup artist. Okay? So you can critique me and let me know if I'm doing something wrong. Maybe you will help me out and give me some pointers. Thank you. So, in the video, you probably will hear my daughter calling me in the background or talking to me. I'm a mom, single mom, so that's going to happen. And let's get to this look. Let's get into this purple. And excuse the wig in the back, too. My bad. My bad. Starting off, I got this mirror. And then I got the bathroom mirror, which I look in. So, I'll show you what I'm doing, but I'm going to be using this mirror to look in. I'm going to teach you how to do your eyebrows. Now, I'm not a professional, so... It's just me self-taught. So some things I might say probably not not true, but I'm just going off of what I've been doing all the years. You know what I'm saying? So when I start off, I always put like a priming mist on my face. They say that you use that to make the makeup stay on longer. So this is my priming mist. I got this from MAC or whatever. And I had this for a long time now. So it barely, I barely use any of it when I'm using it. So I spray my face with this. And then some people put like moisturizer on their face too and stuff. Before I even start, I wash my face. And then put moisturizer on it. Then I'll put this on. So after you do that, after you put the primer on or whatever, then I start doing my eyebrows. You're supposed to start doing your eyes first. So I start doing my eyebrows first. So my eyebrows, you can see, but you see hair is growing in. But when you use concealer, that's what's going to cover that up to make it look like freshly arched if you ain't got your eyebrows arched. So you'll get the eyebrow pencil that you want to use. Me, I use black. This is from my makeup company, but you can get it from anywhere. So I use black eye pencil, and then you will trace like the outside of how you want your eyebrows to look or where you want it to be dark at. It's going to start off ugly when you start doing it, but when you finish the eyebrows, it's going to look decent. So you will outline the top of it. And don't do, go directly like you drawing with a pencil. Go from this, go slant it. So I'm trying to do this and look in the phone. The front of your eyebrows is supposed to always be a light shade. And then it darkens up as it goes back. So you can see now I didn't drew both of them in, but it looked ugly. So then you'll get the brush, the pencil, eyebrow pencil, and it got a brush at the end. And then it should be a pencil on the other side. So I didn't use most of the pencil, so it's little. So you would take the brush, and then you will lighten the front of it. So as you taking the brush, you will go forward, and then smooth it in going backwards, so that it's flat. Go forward, and then smooth it in. That's so it won't look caked up. But it ain't gonna be this long. You are gonna clean it up and cut it off. So I do both sides. And then you're going to clean this middle up to see how, how. So you see this look like a unibrow. This look a hot mess. But it ain't going to look like this for too long. So I'll clean like this middle up. Because I don't want my eyebrows that long or touching. Or you could get it to how far you want it to go. And you will clean up around it. Underneath it. You just use a regular Q-tip and do it. To how you want it. See, this one's like super long. You just cleaning it up. Yes, Journey. And just keep get cleaning it until you get it how you want to.
But then after you draw it on or whatever, you get how you want it to look. Then you go get your um, small angle brush. I got this from e.l.f. But it's, a, it's at an angle, so it's sharp. No matter where you get it from, you will know which one it is because it get, it's at an angle. And then you can get your concealer, which I use um, this concealer from Juvia's Place. Uh, the number 11. Or you can use, um, I went to the beauty supply store before and got a uh, LA Girl and the coffee cool in the color cool tan so that's the one i always used to use until i just started using this and uh juvia's place they concealer is like liquidy to me and the la girl pro concealer is thicker so if i had that i could just write the land on there but juvia's place i put it on my hand and then i use my brush and then wet both sides and then you want to draw underneath your eyebrow and on top with the concealer so I started doing it so you can see what I do. This is the part that like cleans up everything. So if your eyebrows not arched or whatever, you cleaned up with this. And if you make a mistake, it's okay because you can always go back in with your uh, eyebrow pencil and correct the mistake. See what I'm doing? So this is what gives it that sleek look. See? Then once you put on the concealer underneath the eyes, you take the blending yeah. brush, then you want to blend it to make it smoothed out with yeah. your skin. So yeah. you yeah. see it start fading like once yeah. you start blending. Yeah. So it won't be so like yeah. I guess bright and yeah. it makes it everything. But you want to blend everything so that it's smooth. Boom, and then if it's like you didn't messed up right here, you could take your eyebrow pencil and go back in with that or the brush because sometimes the brush got some on the now. See? Now. Now. and that's how I do my eyebrows. Now. So, you got your eyebrows. So, the next thing I start on is my eyeshadow. So, I got a palette from Juvia's Place pink the sweet pinks so on this part i'll put the dark color which would be this pink and then on my eyelid i'll go in with um concealer a white concealer and put it on the eyelid and then add the color so it make it pop so i'm gonna use this color so i'm showing you so you go in with your eye brush and then you want to do this part the top of the lid but you don't want to go all the way above Cause you want to leave this so your eyebrow is still on point. Right, Journey? Okay. Oh. So this had a top color look. Then this is my Juvia's Place Concealer. How you do it? Number 16. 19 my bad 19 is light like white and then i use i got this brush from the beauty supply store it's a um curved eyeshadow brush it's by kiss so i take some of this because it's liquidy and put it on my hand and then and you want to gauge yourself to where you want the other eyeshadow to be placed underneath so and you want to make sure that this part is neat. Oh. So you would do both sides, but, you know, make it neater than this. So it look like this. Then you want to go in Hi. with the next color that you want on your eyeshadow. Oh. So I'm going to use this color next. It's like a glittery pink. And I'm going to put it on top of the white. So this going to make it pop when you put it on top of the white. Now some glitter stuff takes time because it's glitter. So it's going to take a lot to put it on there. 
I'll be patting it on that up. But once I get finished, you will see. But after you finish, it come out like this. And then you will just blend the colors together. So it's just like, it looks like it's blending together, not just a line in the middle. You basically getting the way the line. Getting rid of the line that divides them. See? Compared to this dish. So this is how my eyes came out. And then you want to make sure that if... That's why you do your eyes first because you're going to get so much makeup down here all over that you don't want to touch touch this. This is going to be the last thing that you do. But I'll wipe with a, make, with a uh, makeup wipe if some get on this part of my face under here so you can see this line from me wiping. And then I'll just go back in and fill it in with the pink that I was using. And then it's going to either it's going to get covered up anyways when you put on the rest of your makeup. Next you'll do your eyeliner. So you can use a liquid liner. I got this little marker that I use sometimes, which is easier, um, or a pencil. I'm going to use this little marker. So you will go right above your eyelid for your eyeliner. And draw straight across on both sides above your eyelid. And you will do both sides like that. You want to do your eyeliner underneath on your eye. You always use a pencil for this because it could get in your eye. You don't want it to get in your eye. So always use a pencil when you're doing this. This part, do it on both sides. You want to put on your mascara on your eyelashes. I still put mascara on my eyelashes even if I put on false eyelashes. Because sometimes you can have makeup on them and you don't want that color to show up when you put on your fake eyelashes. <laughs> so everything is about the eyes in the beginning. But you will move on. And remember, I'm not a professional, and I'm still learning. And put on your eyelashes, which I said the eyebrows is the hardest thing. No, the eyelashes is for me. And then after that, you didn't want to do your foundation and then concealer so this is my foundation from mac what color is this ac8 um spf 15 foundation match master i always use the same color i'm gonna put on your foundation so i got my foundation on i'm gonna spread it with a brush Some people use a um, I guess a um sponge or whatever. I like to use a brush. Um, I seen a one video they were saying that a brush, a sponge, like soaks up too much makeup, so you gonna constantly be rubbing. And I guess a a brush just sprays it instead of soaking it up so much. But it's my foundation. I know it looked darker than the concealer I used on my eyes, but everything gonna blend together once I finish putting everything on. So that's my foundation. Then after that, and yeah, after that, I take my um concealer, the one I used on my eyebrows, which is 19 Juvia's Place, and then this is when I use a stick instead of putting it on my hands. I put it right here. you got to be careful with Juvia's place because it's real it's good concealer but it's real like soupy just 
so you could use a little bit you don't need that much because they stuff is like really soupy i do my nose last i know you see people and then this one use the blender and blend it so when you doing this it's gonna blend in with all the rest of the makeup so you can see it's blending but it's like really bright but it is toned down as you continue to do everything it is toned down everybody say you don't need a lot when you're doing dealing with uh juvia play palace i'm steady saying place you don't need a lot i know it look hard mess but it ain't gonna look like this one and then i got this Concealer stick of theirs that I use. Uh, what is it called? I can't even tell you the number. Cassina. That's what it's called, Cassina. And it's chocolate, like a chocolate brown. And then I'm going to go in on the sides where I left open. So my face won't be so bright. You just want to make sure you blend everything well. Like too much going on. And then after you do the blending part, and then I'll go back in with the um, concealer that I used on my eyes, and I'll put a little bit on my nose, just a little dab. above my mouth and I'll blend that and after you do finish the nose part go in with the um, translucent powder well setting glow setting powder this elf halo glow and setting powder and you finish it off with this or well, your face finish your face off with this get some on the sponge I think this light brings everything together and tones down the shine of the concealer. After I finish the setting powder, then I do my mouth or my lips. Uh, I like to put on lip liner, so I do the lip liner first. A brown. And then today I'm gonna use this Mac. Um, it's called Heroin lipstick. Cause it's like purple. And I'll put this in the middle. So this how this look. You can either keep it dry like this or add some lip gloss to it to give it more of a shine so i got this heroin lip gloss so i'll put like a dab of this it'll give it a shine more of a shine then just dry like a matte lip and my last thing i do is put on this glow any glow now this you don't even need a lot of this 
just to like a dab not even a lot you could take one of your brushes and put it on your face because you don't need a lot of this at all so i'll go right here Other side. Other side. forehead down the nose then once I get done my face, I use this Judy brush I got from the crayon case and I blend it with the makeup so it don't look like it's just a dab, a shiny dab on my face. So this is the end of my makeup. Don't act like Come I'm on. average. You want me home. I get you what you want. Superstar status.